for Whiskey Fancy Zone. Chris and I'm Kara. What do we have today, Kara? We have Balcones French Oak. I like Balcones. You do? I do. We went to the distillery about two years ago. We did. I did a flight mm -hmm. w with my brother. He was nice enough to join me. He's not a big fan of whiskey, but he was a trooper. He, he's a good one on you, Dave. Love you, Dave. What a nice guy. Mm. This was my favorite. And mm -hmm. instead of, like a, like a dummy, instead of purchasing it at the distillery and bringing it home in my luggage, mm -hmm. I decided not to purchase it. So that means when we got home, this one was kind enough to search down a bottle for me. Because someone was talking about it. Yeah. Didn't I, get it. And apparently it's a special release that is usually only distillery only. It was for a while. It was only di at, uh, sold at the distillery. You're so hard. I, I do. And then they started releasing it, uh, I don't know yeah. how widely, but yeah. French Oak Balcones. That's mm -hmm. what we're reviewing today. It comes in at, this batch comes in at 61.9%. And it, you notice it did say uh, 2019, so it might have been around the same it was. batch as what you tried at the distillery. That's correct. It was around okay. the same time as when I had it. So I'm very excited. I'm kind of afraid. Because why? Are you just... Don't Texas like, whiskey. I don't like Balcones so much. Yeah. It has a weird funk. It has a, there is a definitely, there's a note that's very specific to that, this. Yeah, to but I just, yes. I, I don't, I don't care for it. It makes you so unhappy mm -hmm. and nervous. And actually when, when I got that, they sent me just the regular single malt expression yeah, because yeah. someone wasn't reading the label. They mistook. So I told them, they sent me this, yeah. they wouldn't send me any information to send get it rid of the other one? Back to them and they stopped responding to me and now I'm stuck with a whole bottle of Texas that I malt? didn't open because I don't <laughs> want it. I've tried the sample of it. I don't like it. Well, but because you like this, yeah. I'm here for you and I'm gonna try it with you. And I'm gonna be a trooper, goddammit. That smells good. Mm-hmm. Smells okay. like caramels. It has a little, a little bit of minerality on Yeah, the I was just going to say. It smells like well water. I was just going to say a little. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like musty well water. Don't say things like that. No, I'm not going to want to drink it. It's really good, though. It's That doesn't come it, on the palate. It, it smells it's nice. super dark. This is only aged 36 months. Mm. Things in Texas age really quickly. 36 months, and you cannot I see I can't through. see through the goddamn glass. It's so dark. Jeez. It's so hot and humid there. Crazy stuff happens. This does. Oh, I can't this wait. smells actually really nice. Mm -hmm. I'm still afraid. I'm still smelling. To you, the Jeopardy song. Oh, it's it, changed. Was it everything it is you hoped for? It's got this effervescent corn thing that you know yeah. it's not normal corn. It's def it's definitely different. This is slightly different than I remember. I think it's because we've been drinking a lot of sweet bourbon. Doesn't have that funk. No, but this is different than um, what I remember. Why don't they age their stuff in French oak normally? Mm -hmm. It doesn't have that funk. So mm -hmm. does the funk only come when they put it in the oak? It's very possible. Mm. This is actually drinkable. Good on you, Balconies. There's one of them. I really like this. Mm. It's not bad at all. I was I was I was kind of afraid. You know, like how that that dimple has that taste to it. Like I'll drink it, but oh, I don't right like now. it, and I won't buy it. Yeah, it doesn't like have this. Yeah, it, it that's the same for me as balconies. And oh, so I was reading the back of it. What made me laugh? It smells like Coca Cola. It it or root beer, yeah, for sure. Uh, it says that the palate finishes this with distinction, and they're not lying. There is definitely mm -hmm. a distinct distinct. Balcones note, but it doesn't not, go to the funky level. No, but it's it, it's like the beginning of it. It's different, but yeah. it's not funky. It's actually kind of pleasant. Hmm. And I didn't think I'd ever put pleasant and balcones in the same sentence it's a bit, in my entire it's a, life. Is it a bit earthy? I don't get too much earthy. Something. I think it's um whatever that minerality that you were talking about. Tastes a little bit like a racer. I don't no. get a racer. No. Okay. The rye, though, the standard rye is like, like pencil, pencil shavings. shavings. Yeah, it tastes like that pencil shavings. That was so weird. That is a, a But it didn't have experience. the balcony funk on the rye, though. It's so cedar pencil, but I can't get anything but It's that. like you're a woodchuck. 
I actually think we could chuck what yeah I don't think we have any more of it we only had a 50 no. milliliter sample and I couldn't it took a long time to finish actually um I would drink this I would drink this if you so offer the second me more this I would say yes so this is the second Texas whiskey you're willing to drink yeah you know, three three what's the other one we <gasps> had my oh, my green. green. I totally forgot how much I love them. And, and, and I don't want to butcher it. Is it Still Austin? Still Austin. Still Austin, I got it right. Still Woo -woo. Austin is my favorite so far. Yeah. And then this is the really Coney's, well. but a big ol' asterisk. Crunch Only crunch out. Yeah. Yeah. This is very intriguing. Right. Can you pick out any more notes on the palette? It's so different. Besides weird and tasty? Mm-hmm. Let me try it almost has a um how I was talking about like it's like Coca-Cola. Mm hmm It almost reminds me of you know when you drink a Dr. Pepper at the very beginning before it gets all the bubbles and you get the syrup? Kinda reminds me of that's my palate. Hmm. Like a syrupy soda? Yeah. But without so much going past that front part. So they get tell you on the what to expect on the back. I don't get I don't know. My Palette is not refined enough, I don't think, to get that what they're saying I can shake it. But it's different. I like it though. It has a and sweetness had... that I don't know how to describe it. It's definitely corn. That much shows through. Um but I I, I don't it's almost like is this still like tingling in my mouth? A little bit of you know that that saccharin? Kind of sweetness yes yeah yes but that's only after it's yes it's just what i'm left over yeah. with it kind of reminds me of what i what, what, what did they say you're supposed to get i'm so stone sorry stone fruits thyme maybe thyme is that weird er earthiness i'm getting that could be i don't eat what is thyme it's a herb is there a spatial distance between thyme and now oh jesus i don't get toasted malt dark chocolate no Maybe that toasted malt is that finishes oh, with distinction. That's not a lie. It does. It does. I think that maybe but that toasted that's toasted a bold malt statement. might be what I perceive as like almost like an eraser. That could be toasted malt. I want to know Herbal who malt. writes these things. It's almost like it would be a Hollywood script. You know that guy that he always has that monotone note that does like the openings for one plays? day, one day in a dark, dark alley. I like this. I'm getting lost. So, do you guys like Texas whiskey? Do you have any favorites? Have you had Falcone's French Oak? Leave us a comment below, and while you're down there, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the t to the channel and turn on your notifications. I I sort of fancy this whiskey. I fancy this whiskey. Cheers. I was afraid. You're very brave. Mm -hmm. Cheers. I should get a whiskey for that.